I used to remember just trying to like bang the neighbor and stuff. Do you remember when you had were younger? Affairs. Yeah, yeah, you had like affairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with the maid, bro. With the maid. Yeah, I used to always try and be like a astronaut or something. And then you'd like cheat on your missus with like the maid. Or the do you next know what the, the most fucked up one I tried to do once oh, was? God, go on. So you know when you die and the Grim Reaper comes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to seduce. I trapped him. Yeah, but I was <laughs> Googling it. The so be, it's actually impossible to do woohoo, which is like when you have yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you can like fall in love with him. So, and I had to use my time because obviously the Grim Reaper only came when people died. So yeah. I would have to recruit random people from the neighborhood into my house. make to die. Wait until they died. No and then I would chirp. So I wouldn't feed them <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> That is. It was a commitment. Wow. That's, that was gonna say that's dedicated. It was graft. It was hard graft. Quick question. Okay. Call of Duty and GTA is that two different things? Right. Thanks for coming, Joanna. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my gaming podcast. What if you just started seeing a girl? So you're, it's quite early days. Yeah, You've been yeah. on a few dates. It's going really well. You like each other, and then she rocks up with a PS5. Would that be a good thing for you, or would you find it slightly creepy? It's because a red it's, flag. It is a huge red flag. Really, I'd, I'll take the PS5. Literally, words out my mouth. <laughs> I'll yank it out of her hand. Spider will say thank you, but the red flag will be flinging in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. That's too, that's too much. That's too much too soon. Why? Yeah. So the red flag because it's you. Would that would that highlight to you that she was more into you than you were into her? At the moment, hundred percent. Oh at yeah, moment, because 100%. I know what it takes at that time as well to get your hands on the PS5. Mm, she must have. Be yeah, first of all, yeah. I don't want to know what you did to get your hands on this PS5, <laughs> and second of all, How you don't you know me like that. That is too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Too too so soon. yeah, that's a red flag for me. Mm, I think that I'd be the same because I get put off really easy. I'm gonna refrain from saying the ick. My followers don't like it when I say the word ick. They really? Like the ick. On TikTok, they didn't like the word ick. But anyway, <laughs> just get put off. I get put off people very easily. Okay. And I feel like if that was happening too soon, I'd want to take the oh. PS5. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm having it. it, it's mine. 100% yeah. you it for me. You've got to tactically do it though. So you'd be like, oh, thank you so much. Mm. And then maybe like a few days later, then you'd break it off. Yeah, I, yeah, I would like start arguments out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, I, I was, <laughs> I'd spend so much time on the PS5 yeah. to force her to complain yeah. and then be like, wow, like I don't understand what you want from me. Like I'm trying to be grateful for the gift that you got me, <laughs> but clearly there's an issue with so that. You're a manipulator. You, I'm not a manipulator. I'm just saying <laughs> how to gracefully exit the relationship. But what if she tries to say, okay, if, I'm, if you're going to keep playing, I'm taking away from you. That, that's when I'm like, I don't know who you think you are. I'm a grown man. You, <laughs> you'll get violent. Yeah. You get verbally violent. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know how, yeah, but it's gonna have to be, I think we'll give it like three weeks tops mm. and then she has to be out. I didn't fancy anyone but Toby, but I had a real thing about his age. So I actually went to welfare crying and I was like, why are they all not fit? <laughs> that would be me. And I literally was like, get me out of here, get me out of here. And then during Casa and more, all the boys came in and oh, they just weren't my type. Mm. You know, they're obviously you no know, good looking boys, but they just weren't a bit of me. And I was like, get me out of here. Like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try and fancy anyone. And they were like, come on, talk to Dale. I was like, Dale! <laughs> <laughs> I always think if a guy's hiding a girlfriend, it's so obvious as well. So like, not me per se, but I've had chats in the group, girls group yeah, chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like, do you think he's got a girlfriend? Like mm -hmm. he's disappeared at 8 p.m. and he only pops up the next morning. Oh, and I'm right. like, he's gone home and he lives, fully lives with yeah, a girl. He's with his children. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's with his family. Yeah, he's got a yeah, whole yeah, family. family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. disturb me. Yeah, you, <laughs> no, you play. <laughs> I will speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. So whenever I'm playing a game, I go against the rules. I feel like it, when you stick to me, it becomes boring. So I kind of feel like the whole time thing, even with Fortnite, the whole storm going on, I just feel like I ignore the storm, just get on with my business, you, you know? But you can't ignore the storm because if the storm closes in on you on the circle, then you're going to die. Yeah, but then you swim away, you run, you leg it. Right, yeah. okay. And then you just hope, hope so for the best. So your, your, for, your form of gaming is don't actually follow the rules of the game <laughs> yeah. and just don't try die. and stay alive. Yeah. And if you do die, just start again. Start again and do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So have you ever completed a game then? Never. Or, well. Ever. Maybe <laughs> follow the rules. There's a girl that we play with called Jade. Mm. She's sick. Yeah yeah, no, yeah, 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 you've met Jade. Mm. She's sick. She can never be my girlfriend because she's actively <laughs> going to be better than me forever. Yeah. <laughs> that I couldn't live in that household because she talks shit that as household. well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. She talks shit all the time. She said, <laughs> she said to me because she like well, we were talking about something, and I said, ah, uh, like it's admirable that you like live in this fairy tale world. Because mm. she was saying something, and she was like, it's admirable that you show up every night to play a game that you're so average at. <gasps> wow, bro! If that was under my, my roof. <laughs> 
<laughs> if that was my significant other saying that to me, I, I'd collapse. Bro, I'm surprised you didn't collapse then. Bro, oh, bro. I, dropped the I, mute, the I muted it immediately. <sighs> so she couldn't hear you breathe. I just like, bit my mic. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, good, well, well played. I went to the, what was the island called? Can it's we called Nuri. 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 I would say Nuri, but everyone's yeah, saying Yeah, no, nice. Nuri Island. And when hasn't been, right? It's literally uh, an island of dreams. They've made, it's a man-made island. Like, about 20, 20 minutes kind yeah. of speedboat ride. Yeah. And it's incredible. And like you go there and it's just like sun, perfect beaches. And it's like, it's kind of romantic. Like, I feel like you'd probably go there with your other yeah, half. Yeah, it's like the um, Maldives vibe. Yeah, literally, literally. And I went there um, with my friend. Um, his name's Alex. So we just spent like the week in Abu Dhabi, like just doing really weird and romantic stuff, which we find it quite funny because it was just <laughs> yeah. So we went to this island and like in the sea, like the Maldives, there's that swing, right? And mm -hmm. um, you know, you can jump off into the swing and like you take pictures and it's all like influency and whatever. And there was two girls on the swing, right? And because the tide had gone down a little bit, they couldn't get up. Yeah, we up. couldn't get up. Yeah, so I was about to ask, how did you get on? Can't get up. So I can see these two girls struggling. So I've run down there to the beach, yeah, like Macho Man, like Baywatch. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, do you need help? And they're like, yeah, yeah, please. So I'm helping this girl onto the swing, right? And she's on the swing, and like she looked great and taking pictures and whatever. And then one girl stayed on the swing, one girl got off and she said, oh, jump on the swing, right? So I'm like, yeah, I can do this. Do you know what I mean? I could do this. It's not shallow under no, 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 I could do that. I could <laughs> jump on the swing. Literally, I, I jumped on the swing and everyone like from the bar is watching now, right? Because oh. they've also just seen a random dude run towards two girls and take pictures, which is quite weird. But like everyone's watching. The bartenders are watching. Like the honeymoon couples are watching. <laughs> so everyone's watching. And I'm trying to jump up onto this, onto this swing and it was an absolute fail. Like, ab like couldn't get myself up enough to get oh, no. onto the swing the girls are pissing themselves laughing <laughs> like and i'm just sitting there and i'm rocking forward and back on the swing are you like clinging on you know when you're like holding so, on like, to try and... I've, I've i've been able to push my chest onto the swing <laughs> right but my feet your are legs just are just dangling, dangling. <laughs> <laughs> my feet are just dangling some little 10 year old was mugging me off in the <laughs> warm-up we were waiting for he was on my team so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're waiting for so you rock join. up to a court you're free on free team you get your team and then you're just waiting for the next three and then just like passing it around. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find my range and some little Serbian ute was just cussing me out. And I was like, you know what? I don't need this. I'm a grown man. Well, I thought you were from Norfolk. So that's, that's a completely so different. muggy. Well, I'm from Where's Norfolk. The door? I'm from Norfolk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before you delve into that. I can like program things into The Sims. So like I could put the Citizen Game logo, for example. Shut the your mouth. Yes, yeah, so it's like custom content. So I've made oh, wow. the Love Island Villa. And I, I saw that. Was that you? <laughs> I saw that on Twitter. No, mothers, I was going to say that, but I didn't, no I didn't want to stop your story, you know? I was going to yeah, say, I by mean, the way, I saw a Love Island thing. Swear. On Twitter. Have you ever pondered the size of Luigi's dick? <laughs> the study found that Xbox players are actually better in bed. That's bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at an Xbox Bro, goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually <laughs> bullshit. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. What is one thing your game will do that's never been done before? Include STIs. Gotta be realistic, <laughs> aren't you? So I'd say that would be the decider of that game.